No, I don't really have many for myself. <laughs> Al, you guys obviously uh, set the tone right on that first possession with Marvin's fumble, or interception. Uh, the turnovers today and the ability to get the ball back for your offense, how big was that to, to key and slow down that Baylor offense? Uh, that's key in every game. You know, one thing we try to harp on and preach every week is the turnover margin. Um, not completely sure, but I believe we won it today. And, you know, that always goes a long way towards, towards winning the game. So, uh, you know, that's something we want to work on. That's something we've been working on each week and uh, try to get more and more of those. Uh, the guy did a really good job at today. Marvin seemed like he had a hand in, I mean, at least two of them. Uh, you know, he doesn't always get those opportunities. Kaiser typically has the starts. Uh, what did you see from him when he did get that chance? Uh, yeah, the same Marvin I've been seeing all year. Uh, you know, I, yeah, I get these kind of questions all the time, and I just keep telling everybody, you got a lot of guys who can play ball. Um, you know, before Kaiser got here, during the spring and everything, Marvin was our spur. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he had taken those reps and had showed us some really good things and, you know, just waited his time. I'm really proud of him. He got out there and, and did what he had to do and helped us win. You know, really proud of him. Being a guy that waited his time, you know, played on special teams like, like you did, is that a little more special to see what he was able to do today? Uh, yeah, and honestly, even a little bit more special than that. Uh, you know, when I when I sat down my freshman year, Marvin actually got a chance to play. And, you know, we always talked about that and, and how we how we love to get out there and get on the field together. And then coming into my redshirt freshman year, we made him redshirt. Okay. So we didn't get to get out there. And then uh, last year, he played more on the special teams than anything. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to get in there. And, you know, me and him have an opportunity to line up together. You know, something we've been talking about for four years now. You know, something we've been talking about since since the dorms, since we lived in Lincoln. So uh, just really proud of him, man. I'm happy for him. I'm glad he was able to get out there and show everybody what he can do. How about this team just getting 10 wins? What's that mean to you guys? Uh, it means that we have one more bowl game and we're going to try to get 11. Uh, you know, like I've been saying all year, every game is big. Uh, you know, every game is a big game because it's the next game. Um, you know, those guys are a, a Big 12 opponent. It's always going to be tough to get a win against a Big 12 opponent. So, of course, we're happy about doing whatever we had to do to get the win, especially to lead those seniors out with a W on their last time I'm out in their field. So, you know, we have some things to be proud of, but we're not done. Shortly after the game ended, uh, the university released details of contract extension for Holgerson five more years uh, through 2021. What makes him, uh, you know, a good coach for this program, a good fit, and why would you be excited to hear that he's got that five-year extension? Uh, you know, I try not to talk about things like that a lot, but for me, you know, the thing about having Coach Holmes in here is, uh, you know, for guys like me who have been here and have put that time in and, and have put that work in to show these guys that we can play and to get our opportunities, uh, you know, to know that we have him here and, and as our leader is something special. You know, uh, we love playing for him. There, you can tell from his sideline entries, there's nobody in the game that's more fired up than Coach Hogerson. And, you know, that's something we love about him. Uh, we know he gets in every week and, and works diligently to put us in the best positions to win. And, you know, I'm happy for him. He's a great coach. And I'm glad I get to be with him one more year. Thanks, Thanks.